Okay, here we go. First part of the office closet. I got one sheet of plywood up. This is the worst plywood I've ever seen. I got from Menards. The last few times I've, I've gotten stuff there, it's just been uh, delaminating between the sheets and everything else. Um, but the reason I'm doing plywood in there here, I'll paint it, um, is it will hold the shelves better. Plus I want to put a ladder on the wall going up this way and the drywall won't hold it. Um, so just a couple sheets of plywood and that will be done. Mainly I just want to close up the bottom down here too. So, um, all good so far. I just need to cut more pieces, bring them up here. And I want to seal that back up because it's getting hot in here from, from the attic. So, um, more later. Hey, Patrick Murphy, quarter inch off here. And I'm uh, putting baseboard in my closet here and doing a couple things I haven't had to do before, which is coping the edges. Now, lessons learned, I've never coped before. Coping MDF sucks. <laughs> uh, coping wood, I got, I did a test piece, is much easier. That, and I'm having a problem with my miter saw. That's not me messing up the uh, measurements. What's happening, you can see it's at a cut at an angle. So this is custom baseboard that's so tall that when my miter saw blade comes down, the actual nut on the arbor hits the top and doesn't let me cut all the way through. And when I found, this is the first piece I did, when that nut hits there, it causes the blade to curve in because I was pushing down on it. So other ones, here's another one I did, much, much nicer. Uh, again, I still hit it with that though. Uh, and what I did on these is I did this edge right here. So that when these go in, it's got a nice finished edge and finished look. Um, obviously we'll caulk all this stuff up and put it in, pound the nails in a little bit more. Um, what I'm going to do is I need to remove these corner blocks because I'm going to put a piece of trim here and then I'll put uh, casing on the outside to kind of hide that trim. But I wanted to clean this up. I removed the doors. I'm not putting the doors back in here. So there'll be a custom sawtooth rack here for shoes. So I need to remove this one as well. Uh, and then put that trim in. But that's for another time. Today I'm just trying to get this basin and a quarter round. I'm not using shoe mold. I bought quarter round. I'm not using anywhere else. So I'm going to use true quarter round here in the closets just because I don't care. Um, so again, I'm going to have a shoe rack here. Probably a ladder going up to my scuttle. And yes, those miters are horrible. I just reused the piece of wood, but I had to trim it back and it changed the dimensions. Perfectly fine for now. And then over here, I'm either going to build multiple racks you pull out on wheels. Keep in mind, I don't hit the door top. Oh, that's good. I need to remember, remember to, when I put the three quarter inch wood up here to make the cabinets even shorter. Didn't think of that. Or I'm going to put one big one in that can slide in and out, missing the ladder. And I'll probably buy, build a small one to put in front of the ladder. Just This is just all for office supplies. So, thanks for watching.